Welcome back to New Mexico Cast, everyone. Before the break, I introduced you to Josh. He's a competitor on American Ninja Warrior, and he's also a miniature sculptor. Now on to another jack of two trades. This guy's name is Jason, and you will find out both of his passions have a lot of heart. Enjoy. On any given Tuesday in downtown Albuquerque's Civic Plaza, you can take a trip around the world through your taste buds. From Eastern African cuisine to local New Mexico staples, you will find a smorgasbord in the gourmet food trucks here on Truckin' Tuesdays. And if you are lucky, you will pick the day that this truck is among those, Joe Mama's Famous Foods. Relatively new to Albuquerque's food truck scene, but already famous around here for owner Jason Rulo's signature specials. Well, the most popular thing, my first creation or invention, if you will, has been the green chili meatball sandwich. So it's a beef meatball and it's got fresh green chili and garlic and onions. And it's kind of like, uh, of course, I grew up Italian and so it's a, it's the traditional meatball, meatball meats New Mexico, essentially. Uh, it's served on a nice panini bread with jack cheese, um, tomatoes, red onions and cilantro. And it's a huge hit. It's pretty darn good, I gotta say. Customers agree. I had uh, the green chili meatball sandwich and you know that's the first time I've tried it like that way you know it was something different than a regular meatball sandwich and that thing was excellent man it was good yep I enjoyed it guys. The excellent food is the reason it is called Joe Mama's Famous Foods. Kind of what I do across the board which is basically simplicity, quality ingredients, can't go wrong. Of course, a lot of love. But if you take a long look, you might realize that Chef Jason is also famous in another way, which has nothing to do with meatballs or green chili. Jason Rulo also happens to be the drummer in the internationally renowned progressive metal band Symphony X. I've been very fortunate with Symphony X. We've played in, in front of so many people and some great crowds. That magic is hard to duplicate, and I don't know if I could, besides the birth of my kids, you know, there's no other moment in life that I can think of that just gives you that feeling. But one day, suddenly, the music stopped. About two years ago, I had heart failure, had all this, this craziness go on, I got this weird virus, and next thing I knew I was laying there fighting for my life for a couple days, literally. And so that was uh, really weird for me, being someone who's always felt pretty invincible, and being a road dog, and, and being able to take whatever the road's ever thrown at me, and you know, sleepless nights, and crazy jet lag, and all this stuff, and still performing at a high level. And always be that guy where they go, oh man, you know, everybody on this tour got sick except you, you know, so I never even got sick and all of a sudden there I am fighting for my life. In the middle of that fight, Joe Mama's Famous Foods was born. And at the beginning of my recovery, it was all about food again. So it was like, you know, you ha I, I was like, well, I'm going to eat myself back to health and then, you know, start the exercise and everything else. But food was first and foremost and having... Um, Having that time where I couldn't do anything and I was literally, that first week especially, where I was just kind of stuck to the couch going, what just happened to me? This is crazy. So I was sitting there watching the Food Network and I'm, you know, seeing food trucks again on TV and all this kind of stuff and I started thinking again. I've always entertained having a restaurant or something one day and I had thought about a food truck one day. But at that point I was like, well, what if I can't tour with the band anymore? What if I'm really done and I need a new, you know, open a new chapter in my life? And um, it kind of, one thing led to another. And this popped up and it was just meant to be, I guess, because everything kind of just happened in a row. And now Joe Mama's stands as a testament to Jason's will to survive and thrive. That's why there's a heart on the side of the, the trailer. That's why the logo is about that. And that's when I say food of love, I really mean it. You know, for me, this is about a lot more than just, uh, you know, selling, selling food to people. But even before his health scare, a love of food and the world's cultures was always a part of his life. I was always really aware of my surroundings being on the road and we've played in 50 countries and every single country I've been to, every single day I wake up and get off that tour bus or hotel or whatever, I'm like, 
thank you god for being here what's what's for lunch you know okay go meet a local hey what should i do today you have one day in this city what do you do that's what i always ask the locals and that's how i try to live my life but even having said that my appreciation for things now is a thousandfold what it was and you just can't put it into words when you have that near-death experience i guess it just changes things forever one thing that didn't change his ability to play the drums Jason's heart has now made a full recovery, and he has gotten the green light from doctors. Thank God, I mean, I'm 100%. I've been cleared completely. I had uh, another echo recently in my heart, which looked like a completely normal heart, so they said they couldn't tell the difference between, you know, an athlete and somebody who went through what I went through. Which is a good thing because drumming, at least the way Jason does it, is athletic indeed. Now that he is back and better than ever, Jason has some sage advice for anyone else who dreams big dreams but isn't quite sure where to start. You just have to visualize what you want to create for yourself. I saw the band I'm in five years before I met any of those guys and I'm telling you it's the band I saw in my head when I decided that's what I wanted, five years later there they were. And you don't know when it's going to come back but everything you ask for in the universe comes back and you will get what you asked for. Maybe not the way you think it was meant, but you'll get the, what's best for you. Fortunately, what was best for Jason Rulo was to pursue his two passions in a way which offers something delicious to both foodies in New Mexico. And there you have a breakfast burrito, New Mexican style, Italiano, New Mexican style. And music fans around the globe. Albuquerque, New Mexico, for New Mexicast, I'm Rosalinda Roman. Well, that's it for this episode of New Mexicast, and it's also wrapping up season two of New Mexicast. Thank you to all of you for supporting New Mexicast for the past two seasons. I look forward to lots of adventures in the future. For now, if you'd like to drop me a line, you can reach me at rlr at newmexicast.com, or you can check me out on YouTube at New Mexicast TV, and of course, newmexicast.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream I had. New Mexico's theme song is New Mexico by Dorian again. Spencer. <laughs> Just like getting into the past right here. Hardest part, but then it's me soon. much. <laughs> really good, then can you do it again? Yeah. Iconoclast. This is the last record that we came out with here. The store's everywhere. Go buy it now. <laughs> Back and forth. There you go. That's it. Good job. Woo! Yeah. <laughs>